Praise be Jesus Christ, and may the blessing of God be upon you and your family. This is Sister Daisy for today's Gospel Power. Jesus and his disciples were on the road, going up to Jerusalem, and Jesus was walking ahead of them. They were amazed, and those who followed were afraid. He took the twelve aside again and began to tell them what was to happen to him, saying, See, we are going up to Jerusalem, and the Son of Man will be handed over to the chief priests and the scribes, and they will condemn him to death. Then they will hand him over to the Gentiles. They will mock him and spit upon him and flog him and kill him, and after three days he will rise again. James and John, the sons of Zebedee, came forward to him and said to him, Teacher, we want you to do for us whatever we ask of you. And he said to them, What is it you want me to do for you? And they said to him, Grant us to sit one at your right hand and one at your left in your glory. But Jesus said to them, You do not know what you are asking. Are you able to drink the cup that I drink or be baptized with the baptism that I am baptized with? They replied, We are able. Then Jesus said to them, The cup that I drink you will drink, and with the baptism with which I am baptized you will be baptized. But to sit at my right hand or at my left is not mine to grant, but it is for those for whom it has been prepared. When the ten heard this, they began to be angry with James and John. So Jesus called them and said to them, You know that among the Gentiles, those whom they recognize as their rulers, lord it over them, and their great ones are tyrants over them. But it is not so among you. But whoever wishes to become great among you, must be your servant, and whoever wishes to be first among you must be slave of all. For the Son of Man came not to be served, but to serve, and to give his life a ransom for many. My dear brothers and sisters, for the third and last time, Jesus shares with his intimate circle of friends what they should expect when they reach Jerusalem. The establishment of God's kingdom will take place, but the manner will be contrary to what they imagine. It will not be by way of a triumphal enthronement amidst joyous acclamations, but through a brutal and shameful exposure on a Roman cross. Reading this episode, two millennia after the prophesied events have taken place, we can feel disgusted and scandalized by the gross insensitivity of the apostles, especially James and John, who choose to express their ambition at this very moment that Jesus is describing in detail the torture that he will undergo. But we must not forget that, at that point, nobody possesses yet the ability to comprehend the true messianic identity of Jesus. Real understanding will dawn only after the passion, death, and resurrection of Jesus. Even the ambitious brothers will realize to their shame that the positions that they covet are given to the two thieves nailed on the other side of Jesus, for the crucifixion is Jesus' moment of glory. And so today, let us pray. Lord Jesus, help us to learn from the gospel characters 
by seeing ourselves, our inclinations, and attitude mirrored by them. Amen. We are here to provide a new way of communicating and proclaiming the gospel. Music